everyone welcome to watch it paint it in this video i'm just going to be showing you my copy of mastermind a problem i have with it a problem you're all probably quite used to being board gamers these pieces here they just shuffle around when i close the lid you can see the compartments nowhere near the top of the box it doesn't go to the lid and these other pieces on the other side they start jumbling around the box get shaken these mix with these vice versa Ugh, it's just a chore when i come to set it up now this is applicable for nearly every board game so what i thought i'd show you is some foam core you've probably seen it before you might not have it's quite new to me here's a piece of foam core this is white foam core you can get it in black or white as far as i know it's a piece of card followed by a big chunky piece of foam in the middle then another piece of card at the bottom a foam sandwich really and i'm just going to demonstrate making an insert or some padding for this game it's quite a simple one just to show you how to use it you can do it for much more complicated games and everything we'll start by removing the components of the game we'll just put those to one side so we've just got the box and this is what we're going to be building inside and then we'll magic in a piece of foam core. We'll then put the box on top. I'm going to start in the core, a nice sharp edge. Line that up with the corner of this foam core. So we're going to get two edges perfectly straight or as far as they come from the manufacturer. I'm going to use this pencil and just draw around the box. Just draw both edges just so I know where to cut in a moment. Pretty straightforward so far. Next, we will magic in a cutting mat. I'm sure you've seen these before. I use one on my channel, paint on top of it. But this is one of those magic, self-repairing, self-healing cutting mats. Um, they're fairly standard in all craft stores. But we're going to put this on, on underneath the foam core. This is just going to protect my desk, if that's not obvious. We're going to use a metal ruler, because I am going to be using a ridiculously sharp knife. A uh, plastic ruler is likely to get sliced in action, and so are your fingers. So recommend a metal ruler for sharp knives. I'll start the cut in the, the, the middle of the board, cutting towards the edge. I'm going to do this slowly and carefully. I'm really just scoring it. At this point, I'm probably just cutting through that top layer of cardboard. I'll go through again, maybe about halfway through the foam. I'm just doing very, very light strokes, just taking my time, gently doing it without trying to rip through the foam. I feel like the foam could very, very easily rip. You want a very, very sharp blade. I'll have just switched out this blade to a brand new one, but I'm still going to do it in a, in a few strokes, really just taking my time, getting a really clean cut. I'm going to do the same down the other side. Once you're, you finish that, you're going to be presented with the this shape. This is going to fit inside my box. It's going to work as the sort of inner lid, really. I'm going to use it as this sort of pre-lid lid uh, padding to stop those game pieces moving around and as you can see it doesn't quite fit but this is nice and easy to work with so we'll just rectify that i could have edited all of this out but i really did want to show, show you that this is easy to work with easy to adjust and doesn't i mean everyone's different i'm not fussed about this being a perfect exact fit i just want it to fix my problem if i wanted a perfect exact fix I'd be using an insert supplied by a company. Obviously, they're not going to have an insert for Mastermind, but this is a demonstration for the, you know, the miniature games really that we play. But it's nice and easy to demonstrate on a, a, a game that's going to take me five minutes to build a foam core insert. Next, I'll put the, the components back and we'll just put this lid on top. And you can see that's just not going to fit. There's this flap on the game. It's just in the way. It's going to keep it poking out the top of the box. But then also there's just going to be a gap near the components so i'd like to pad that a little bit more so we'll just line this up at the side of the box and this is just as i mentioned i'm just getting some rough measurements i'm not being particularly careful if you're doing a game that needs much more precision just be more careful you know measure everything as best you can line it up but i have demonstrated correcting it's not difficult as long as you i guess as long as you're cutting off and not gluing on gluing on is going to be a little bit harder so i'm just measuring this out and i'll draw on some guidelines to where i'm going to cut we'll just whiz through that because you guys all know how to use a ruler and a pencil but i'm just trying to line up roughly where i need to place this uh, cut out to get that flat to fit through as best I can and again I'm, I don't need to be super accurate as long as there's no gap over any of the component pieces so they come flying out after this I'll just cut it off screen because again you you know how to use a knife now and there's my little cut out so that should hopefully just have that flap poke through and allow the the foam core to sit flush with the game and voila there we go and you can see it's got a little bit of wobble in it but at no point does that hole you know come over the component bit and you can see it's it's not 
it's not uh, the profile's not the same with the the lid of the box so it would still lift and let the components out here's that piece of scrap that i cut off before and i'm just going to look at that and sits flush with the top of the game so i'm going to use a few strips of this cut out a couple more pieces like that put one in the middle put one on the other end somewhere and i think that's going to double up as a handle as well as just padding it so it touches the lid and we're going to have no problem so I've cut out three pieces and then we'll be using a hot glue gun as as you can see here. This is just a cheap $5 from Hobbycraft, I think. Just one of their mini glue guns next to nothing. If you don't own a glue gun, I recommend you get one. Uh, <laughs> this is what I bought my glue gun for and I want to use it for everything. In fact, since this video was made, I have used it for quite a few little projects just because I can. I'm just putting that cutting mat down to protect my desk heated up the glue gun now it's been plugged in for five minutes and i'm just gonna try and apply a small amount of glue down the edge of this piece of foam core uh, just quickly as i can to keep the glue nice and hot so we'll just uh, drag down that quickly and then drop the glue gun on my <laughs> cutting mat so not that i think it would actually damage my desk and then i'm just going to glue this to the edge as I, as I demonstrated previously i'm just going to be gluing it i'm going to do the same in the middle and the other edge and we'll have a look at that and we'll look at that in the background whizzing through. I'm sure you've got an idea for it now, but I'll just let you see the full process because it won't take very long in the background. And you get to use the glue gun three times, so that's pretty cool. And that is it. So let's see it in action now. And it should just pad it out, slot in on the top. And it's quite neat, really, to say I wasn't that fuss, but it's not bad, not bad, not bad. And then you put the lid on and we should find that pads out to the top of the lid, fits about as well as it did at the beginning. Um, and then let's just turn it upside down a few times. <laughs> just test test this out. What we'll do is we'll give it a, a proper shake as though it's been in my bag going to somebody's house ready to play this. And as I mentioned, this, this is applicable to any board games. You've all got them, you've all carried them somewhere. You, I find just putting them on my shelf sideways is causing this problem for me. Mastermind is on my shelf sideways. And voila, they are all exactly as they were when I put them in. And then just because I thought it'd be fun, I will do it without the foam core in. I'll just show you. I'm sure you can all imagine exactly what is going to happen here. But just a little shake as I previously did. And oh boy, soul destroying as I'm sure a lot of you have experienced with many, many different games. Brilliant. So let's let's have a game of it, except let's spend the first 30 minutes playing a mini game of reassigning all the pegs to the right side. So just while we've made a video about foam core, I just wanted to show you Rhino Hero. You might know this, exactly the same problem. All the pieces can go everywhere. Not that there's too many pieces in here. It's just a good game to have practice with. So I've already built a foam core little case for that. It keeps all the cards on the left all the roof tiles I guess if you're familiar with the game and then on the right hand side you've got all of those wall tiles nice and separate so it's just not mixing those together there's no need to sort those out at the start slightly neater slightly easier to set up and then little rhino super rhino rhino hero has got his own little house slash bed there Sophie enjoys putting him to bed when we finish playing it uh, so it's just you know some walls around the edge a little slot for him there and turned a divider using a bit of padding there and that's it nice and simple and hopefully it's just a demonstration that foam core is really easy to work with and you might not have seen it or heard of it or realized just how simple it can be to make an insert to simple games i think there are instructions out there for more complicated games but they're more complicated so i'm going to stick to easy games hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching